Hi guys, Dominic here with Rapino Real Estate. We're here back in June to feature yet another local business spotlight video. This one's a little bit of a special edition because well, as you can see, we're outside. As most businesses are still closed and people are staying at home during these times, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to provide an escape for you, something unique in our neighborhood. Some of you might already know about it, but a lot of you I think may not. So we're gonna feature something that you could escape to during these times while being safe, of course, while being safe. We wanna show you a unique part of our neighborhood. So without further ado, here we are, the Clifton Avenue Street Art Gallery. Well, we're gonna start off by introducing you to the person who helped put this all together, Justin Weidel, the business director with Uptown United. And there he is right there. Justin, we're gonna keep our distance for safety. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you for joining us and thank you for helping to put all of this together. Absolutely. So the Clifton Avenue Street Art Gallery is a project of Uptown United. And Uptown United uh, really has a goal to celebrate Uptown with all, its, all of its uniqueness, the diversity. Our goal is really to celebrate the businesses and people in Uptown. And we thought what better way to do that to tell Uptown's story than with art and public art. And Clifton provided just such a neat opportunity to pack all these different elements, colors, um, and stories into a small space. And there's all these little nooks and crannies. And so we've used each little space almost as a canvas or a gallery so that someone can walk this one block stretch and really get a flavor and a sense of what Uptown's all about. <laughs> Drop the microphone. Really the gallery wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for our strong partnerships with Ace Hardware behind me and Cornerstone Community Outreach across from me. So I'd love to hear Andrew Winter's thoughts on just how the gallery's affected Cornerstone and their mission to serve people in Uptown. So Andrew, thank you for being here. And also yeah. thank you for being such an amazing supporter of the community. Yeah, no problem. So question for you, yeah. what changes have you seen since this whole project started to this specific area and block? I've seen a lot more foot traffic kind of coming through here. You know, people kind of seeing it because it's an art gallery. People seeing them and, and really recognizing through our choice of this art that we really care about the people we're serving. Because they see how empowering this image is and how hope giving the other images too. So they've been really good that way. Thank you for sharing that. So yeah. Andrew, What's your favorite thing about being in the uptown neighborhood and community? Favorite thing? Well, the food's great. I've been here for 25 years and I've seen a kind of change in the neighborhood uh, between you know who's living here and who's serving here. And I'm just grateful to kind of be part of the neighborhood, lifting it up and providing opportunities for the kids that grew up in uptown or families that moved here. I'm just glad to be part of that. Thank you for yeah. being a part of it. We're yeah. happy to have you here. All right, thank Blast you. Too. Thanks, man. So guys, we're here to feature our first artist, Michelle Lytle with Lytle House. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about, about the inspiration be, behind your installation? Absolutely. When Justin reached out to us, a lot of the artwork that we have been installing up in Edgewater as part of our Lytle House art initiative, um, we try to play off of the surroundings that already exist. So when Justin said that they were looking for something to be installed here, we wanted to play off of the windows so that the artwork worked in conjunction with, with what was naturally here. Um, Charlie Chaplin had some of his greatest hits were made out of the studio that was in this area. So we knew we wanted to incorporate him in some way. Um, and that's just what we started from. And that's how we came up with the design. So Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about your experience while working in Uptown? Was there anything that inspired you while you were here? Anything you want to share? Absolutely. So Uptown is just a little bit uh, south from where I live, not too far. Um, the two areas overlap. So it, the experience that I had here has been a lot different than in other areas. Um, and I think a lot of that credit has to go to Justin. He's a very organized person and he executes really well. So it was a really pleasant experience to be working with him in terms of, hey, here's a building we need some design for. I sent him the design and then almost instantly afterwards we had approval and were able to go and install. So that was, it's always a pleasant working experience when um, you have things come together like that and there's not this big lag. Thank you. Okay, Michelle, if you had one superpower, what would it be? It would probably be invisibility. You know, I have two kids, so to just have the ability to stand in a corner and have them not see me and try to engage in uh, playing princess for six hours would be a superpower <laughs> worth having in my book. 
Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Great. So guys, we're here with Rodney Duran, otherwise known as Hot Rod. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Great. So can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind your installation, your piece, your art? Oh, this piece right here, I actually was in Montana a few years ago, West Yellowstone, Montana. I was actually hanging out with some Native Americans. We were literally sitting in a teepee that they built and they were part of a Choctaw tribe. So they told me that I was the, the bull, the buffalo, and uh, like a buffalo man. So I was like, ah, oh, I dig that, you know? So I started drawing uh, my own character of it and then it kind of evolved into a painting that I did on wood. Justin from Uptown Explorer Chamber asked me if I could do a piece and I thought that this was like me coming to Chicago. That's how it came to be and it's right here. So Rodney, can you tell us a little bit about your experience while being in Uptown, uh, how you enjoyed it and was there anything that inspired you when you were here? Um, I moved here to Uptown a year ago and I actually live a block away. <laughs> this street kind of inspired me. It was actually a plain street and uh, I talked to Justin about it a year ago to give it a facelift. And he actually asked me to paint most of these squares alone. And I said, nah, let's get a lot of artists over here. So we kind of brainstormed it and it came to be this. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, no problem. All right, Rodney, last question. My favorite, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Oh, super to fly. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine too. Just Inspired by aviation. Yeah, that's it. Rodney, thank you for joining us thank and thank you. you for giving back to the community. I appreciate it. So guys, we're here with yet another artist, Christian Paz. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind your art? It was uh, just dedicated to the skyline. You know, uh, Chicago has a real, it's known for its skylines. Just wanted to represent that in the neighborhood where what, maybe a mile or two away from the skyline, so people couldn't enjoy it without going over there right now. <laughs> <laughs> that makes less sense. Yeah. Thank you. So, Christian, can you tell us a little bit about your experience while working in Uptown? Was there anything that inspired you and, and just about being here in the community? The community is a very unique community, very infused with different cultures. And as I was painting this, uh, it was pre-COVID time, uh, just right before, and people were just, you know, getting inspired. And uh, I saw how it, people interacted with the mural. Uh, it kind of just gave them a little uplifted their spirits a little bit, you know? So uh, it was great, it was a good experience. And I think doing murals and street art, the interactions with the people that interact with it is what makes makes it worthwhile for the most part. Yeah. So you were uplifted and uptown. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Oh, no problem. <laughs> so Christian, my favorite question, everybody knows, but if you had one superpower, what would it be? One superpower. <laughs> That, that, that's a tough question, really, you know, I never, I never thought about that. To paint the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, paint thank the world and uplift people. Thank you for sharing. Yep. And thank you for, for your art. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yep, thank you. You guys, thank you for joining us for yet another local business spotlight in Uptown for June. This one was a little different. And Justin, thank you so much for helping to make it happen. Thank you, Dominic. Really, at the end of the day, we just love Uptown. We love the people in it, and we want to celebrate it and tell its story. And so that's why we're here, and that's why we're doing this. Thank you, bro, for all you do for our community. <laughs> thank you. So thank you again for joining us. Be safe, be well, and thank you to Quality Home Images for helping us with all of our video shoots. <laughs> a little bit of noise going on around us. Make it a great day. We have more information coming your way and more content to help you while we're all at home being safe. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Cool. Do you think it's going to stay?